to uh, show face uh, and be live with you all again. Um, listen, I have an incredible uh, just download for the the window of time that we are in right now. And the Lord really began to speak to me about August order and August fire that is going to uh, literally um, usher in uh, September wind. And that September um, that September change um, is, is the wind of where things will begin to pick up with clarity. Uh, and I have just been in such a reverence, such a, um, a holy Selah, if you will, uh, a holy positioning. And I'm just shaking right now because I just feel the anointing uh, on this word. Um, and I just know that God is doing something mightily. Uh, if you've been watching my post, you all know that there has been some shifting. Um, the Lord is really shifting us from a company of people, a company of believers uh, that sit and receive to really um, go back to the Great Commission, really shifting us back to the simple gospel. And many have received the lie of Satan that the commission is religion, that the commission is the old wine. But there's new wine in the new era of being sent out. There's new wine and new evangelical uh, uh, paradigms. And the sent out order is, is being recommissioned, has been uh, reorchestrated and has been shifted into the new era and the new wine. And there is a completely new way and a completely new order. But he is bringing forth a holy conviction, a, whole, a holy rattling, if you will, uh, and, and, and a holy holy fire that is beginning to shift the bride, that is beginning to uh, make the bride um, uh, decide uh, true motives and true intent. And he is shifting us from being a receiving company of sitting uh, on the church line, sitting in the church pew, or, or sitting behind a computer screen or a phone screen, uh, and just receiving word after word after word after word after word after word. He is really rattling the the, the bride and he has really brought me into revelations uh, and, and, and the book of revelation and and bringing back into the fear of God bringing back into the fear of the Lord uh, and and bringing that company of radical awe and radical fear of the Lord because we are in a time uh, and I hate to say it but of repentance and judgment upon the wicked judgment upon upon the um, what is it? The harlot, uh, the adulterous bride, uh, and and he's really, uh, you know, people don't want to hear those things, but that is what he is doing. And those close to his heart know what he is doing. Those close to his heart hear what he is saying. Those close to his heart feel the shift, feel the rattling, feel the change in the structure, feel the change in the kingdom structure, and what is happening uh, as prophetic voices and as apostolic government. I am, I have an accountability to speak the truth, and that truth will will. Will, will not be comfortable to the ears of people. It will not be comfortable to the ears of man. But many don't want to hear you know, the fact that your comfortability in receiving the prophetic words is shifting. Many don't want to hear that, but that is what he is doing. He is coming up from underneath you and he is changing. He is changing and he will even hold back and reframe that pursuit from you and from the bride so that you don't receive for the sake of his sovereignty of being good to you and being a good, good father to you and being a good, good father to us. So I just want to encourage you that this is not, many will say, oh, well, I am done with the fire. I've been in the furnace. This, this, is, this is a different type of fire. This, this fire has, has come swiftly. This is, a, this, is a, this is a sovereignty fire that is coming up in the, in the bride right now in the month of August to bring order and proper alignment and to begin to shift vocabulary, to begin to shift how we speak how we think, how we see. He's beginning to change the language of the body of Christ. He's beginning to change the, 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 um, how we articulate, how we move, how how our prophetic words begin to uh, upgrade, and it's and it's no longer from the church age and the and the religiosity, but it is shifting into the language of heaven. We are beginning to shift into and unto the language of heaven. We are shifting dramatically as a bride. Those that have ears to hear and eyes that she will see will begin to shift with him. Those that don't will sit and soak in the fire of bitterness. So I just want to offer this. Um, this is a 
uh, as a, 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 a holy moment, a holy Selah moment for you all, that you will begin to listen and sit and soak in the solitude and the reverence of God so that you can begin to hear where he's going, see where he's going. Because I'm sorry to say, but your heart and, and what you think inside of your heart, so you will be. I posted that a couple of days ago, and that is what God is doing. And if all you want is a seeking word, if all you want is prophecy, you will sit and soak in the bitterness of your motive because God will not allow, he will not allow the, the, the pollution and, and, and the wrong oil to begin to mix in his pure living water, okay? And he is bringing that living water once again because the harvest is where he is. And we cannot go into the world and into the commission with, with, a, with a, you know, a, a bottom line that says, me, 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 what can I receive? What can I receive? What can I receive? He's either going to spit you out and thrust you out and being used, or you're going to sit and soak in the bitterness of what you're not receiving, okay? And you want to receive what he has in this hour, but it's not going to be for you. There will be a reward in the things that you go forth and put your hands to and labor and, and, and get outside of the four walls and, and, and do as you listen to your new assignment and mandate. There, there will be a, a reward uh, uh, of a refreshing that will come upon you in order to give but the days are over of where we're hopping and skipping from meeting to meeting conference to conference prophet to prophet apostle to apostle and and, and and this paradigm of thinking that we we still need deliverance after 15 years on the same thing okay we need to move on we need to move forward we need to stop thinking with a with a with a um with a pauper mindset, with an orphan mindset, going from place to place to place, still trying to receive what we've already received, but believe in the lie that we are still not free, that we still need to grab and soak and gather, when he is really saying enough is enough, my commission is my commission, my gospel has not changed, all of the New Testament is the New Testament, it, the whole New Testament is not receive a prophetic word, the New Testament is all about the ministry of Jesus, the New Testament is all about, okay, you've received your salvation now go you've received what you needed to receive you've received your freedom so now you need to go it is not you've received your freedom so now go to meeting to meeting to meeting and continue to get deliverance continue to get fat and fed continue to receive prophetic word prophetic word prophetic word from 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 apostle and, a, and from prophet and so and so and so and so and somehow we forgot the whole new testament order and that is what he is bringing forth right now in the in the body of christ he is bringing back the new testament order and he's he's he, he is ultimately saying you know my people, my people are hungry in the streets. Okay, the orphan and the widow. Well, how did we forget this? How did we forget that testament uh, order? How, how did we get so far out into this modernized lie, this modernized Christianity lie that said, you know, I'm a Christian and I need to sit and gather and gather and gather and gather and not give and not go and not be sent. The commission is now, and, and it's not religious. I just break that lie off of you right now. The great commission of being sent out and feeding the poor and clothing the poor and healing the sick and raising the dead is not religious that is our commission that is what we are commanded to do as sons and daughters of the most high and that he is going to use this COVID-19 to stretch us outside of the four walls and disturb our comfortability of where we said church is enough and he is going to shift the way that we have done church and you are becoming the church he's saying okay I've had enough with my bride being in the religious four wall structure I need them to be the church and he is he's ultimately ruffling and rattling those walls and he is breaking the fortified walls off of you so I just want to come on and say right now that there is such a holy Selah things are going to get going to begin to look different things are beginning to shift uh, and, and and many prophets are beginning to give other things of themselves other than just daily prophetic word prophetic word prophetic word on their pages you guys have got to recognize that you cannot love the gift and not love the person okay let's just let's just go there for a moment you can't go and feed but and, and use prophets and apostles as a byproduct of the gospel you have got to learn to see even see the treasure and the office you've got to learn to see the treasure of the prophet that is giving you the word of the Lord you've got to see you've got to see the treasure of the apostle that is that is bringing forth the deliverance of the gospel you've got to begin to see and shift not as a leader as an elite order but that you've got to see that that person is a human being and you've got to be you've got to also love and see the 
treasure of that human being and not skip and hop and skip and hop and skip and hop like this is a merchandise or a franchise this is not a franchise okay the the, the people that operate in these offices are not a franchise you cannot use them for what they got you cannot go and spend their oil and suck their oil dry and then go from the next person the next person the next person like we're some kind of factory I just want to preach that to you right now because that is the fire burning in me right now there is a holy there is a holy order happening to the fivefold ministry to the to the body of Christ the harlot and the adulterous bride is falling Babylon is falling come on come on right now Babylon is falling the 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 using of the gospel okay is coming into order and God is saying my pure my purity is coming forth my purity is coming forth diligently diligently order and alignment of the royal priesthood and the holy nation is coming back unto earth glad to see you on chat uh, Chad my brother I just love you dearly God bless you I honor you I honor what you carry I honor your heart and I love that you are are, are for the streets and for the people in the streets I, I just want to honor uh, who you are um, if nothing else I want to honor you um, but yeah guys listen there's a holy August order right now and the swift wind is what's coming to to shift and launch the body into 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 the thrust into the launch of where God is spitting us out into and those that are not ready and submitting to the order and the alignment in August I, I don't know where you will be launched or where you'll be thrusted but he is holy enough to keep you in the same place until you shift with him in purity and in right motive and in right perspective and that you learn to honor those that have voices those that 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 are giving those those that have stewarded uh the giftings well and those that are using and pouring out what they have i'm not speaking on a personal level i'm speaking on behalf of every leader that i see globally nationally internationally i see it all the time i see the dysfunction of the body of christ that use that use those in leadership use those in office like like they are a factory and, and you are going from chain to chain to chain Chain, station to station to station and you are sucking them dry people are sucking them dry and they're moving on to the next and that is just not okay that is just not okay you've got to learn to love who they are learn who they are especially if they're giving of themselves and their personality and who they are and maybe they just want to love you maybe they just want to get to know you maybe those are uh, the, the, those leaders just want to be themselves for a moment they can they could be allowed that break to be themselves and to share themselves on their on their Facebook and if it doesn't look professional if it doesn't look elite so the heck what let them be them let them I love you Jenny Weaver. I love that she is herself. I love that she is herself on her page, that she doesn't try to be uh, something elite, elite, elite. She's herself, but she also it, uh, puts her hands to every single thing that the Lord has placed inside of her DNA. And I just love that. I, I, I highly, highly honor that because we need to also be be relaxed and being who we are authentically and not just striving in a professionalism or, or, or the mandate. We have to understand the difference. Okay, I'm rattling on a rabbit trail. But anyways, you guys catch the drift. You understand what's happening. So I want to encourage you all to be able to shift into that August order so that we can begin to come underneath the September wind. Hallelujah. So you guys be blessed be blessed be blessed make sure you share this broadcast make sure you like and share i love you greatly i love you deeply i love you enough to make sure that you get under the right position that you get thrusted and unlocked into the right order and that you are where you're supposed to be so that you could go where you're supposed to go and be destined to go where you're supposed to go and not get stuck in, in, in wickedness and not get stuck in sin and not get stuck in inequity and not get stuck in an orphan tendency and not get stuck in this weird uh, 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 Christianity mindset or modernized Christianity mindset that that you know if a leader is resting or or if if a if an office uh, is, is resting on their Facebook so what love them where well, love them love them if they're just posting pictures with their kids you know love them if they're just sharing where they're at you know that's crucial that's crucial that we treat people like people okay um and and, and that we're not just you know striving uh, and 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 throwing the oxen rope on them and putting them into slavery to poor 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 i hate that and, and i just want to break that off of the body of christ that is not right that is not okay um so I just speak rest over you. I just speak, uh, man, this sun is scorching today. I just speak rest over you. I just speak love over you. I want to bless you all. I will be live soon to minister and to pray with you soon. You guys know that I have been super, super um, uh, diligent in what the Lord has commissioned me to do and being sent out with cities, regions, and nations. Uh, so I, my, my heart has been to connect with nations. Uh, I just connected with Kenya Africa, my awesome brother Isaac. Love him dearly. We will be having more Facebook lives uh, together. 
uh, and just pouring into the uh, the body of Christ, um, but also ministering um, every Sunday out in the streets. Me and my team uh, are going forth and doing that every Sunday during the during the day. Um, so I'm really excited about feeding the poor, and man, we've been having incredible revival out there, and that's just not, that's not a hype at all. Uh, with supernatural, supernatural signs and wonders have been going forth uh, as we minister. We were out there for four hours yesterday, and every single person was beyond receptive, weeping, weeping, weeping. Um, and um, we even we had, we even had a young boy come up to us just to be real, real short, and say, you know, you guys are different. I don't know what's up with you, and I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but I was born into witchcraft. I was born a witch, um, and I just like something different about you all has made me come forth and share that with you and he allowed us to pray with him uh and yeah it's just it's epic it's epic we we just laid in the street streets with people laid hands and it was just really cool uh with them and we loved it and it was just uh incredible so powerful things are happening with the harvest guys it's not it's just not a hype it's not you know some some oh yeah well that's like five years ago no that's not that's not like oh you know that's an old thing people have been doing that for centuries the great commission is the great commission and we're supposed to be living out the new testament order okay so let's not get sidetracked on what the new testament said to do and the ministry of jesus said to do amen uh so just be encouraged with that i'm excited for the order and for the wind so i will see you guys shortly make sure that you are staying connected to me uh and that you are watching out for the new upcoming live streams that are coming forth and if you would like to show it to this ministry uh you can do so uh we have just been um using everything out of our out of our clothes them uh give them socks and so much um of, of that and just little things um just uh, uh hygiene packets and and all that so um if you feel led to sew uh, my website is actually below my um below my profile picture you guys can show the uh the sewing donation uh is actually at the very very bottom uh of my website you guys can give there so god bless you and i will see you guys shortly okay bye bye